something's missing. So I'm in the middle of swapping my 2003 aluminum plenum for a 2005 VVTI plenum. This is a mod that Keith Carty came up with it initially from Dirty Deeds. So the VVTI plenum is supposed to have variable length, so it feeds at different rates depending on how much throttle you have. At least that's my understanding. 12 hole injectors and install them in this as opposed to the stock. I think these are four hole, but these injectors are supposed to have a better misting and better throttle response, vaporizes the gas better. Again, all this is anecdotal as far as how much of a difference this modification makes. You're going to need the uh, No Fiber 06 plenum. You're going to need the No Fiber 06 throttle body. You're going to get rid of the spacers when you pull the old one out. I didn't go through filming everything I had to pull. You just kind of got to look around and start undoing bolts and pulling plugs and pulling hoses. It's, it's not easy, but it's fairly straightforward. I'm going to show you a few tools that I would recommend for doing this. All your extensions, all your sockets. It makes it easy to get to the bolts. Screwdrivers for a couple little things you gotta undo. I used various wrenches. I used these and these needle nose and stuff because the hardest part is getting all the hoses unclipped. Those constant tension clips, especially if you haven't moved them around in a while, are really hard to get undone. And they're all always upside down. Extendable magnet here. That's going to be really helpful because every time you undo a bolt, you have the potential to drop it down into the motor. So I just loosen them and then I grab them all out one at a time with the magnet. You don't need one of these guys, but that helps. Second hand would be nice. I use this weird setup here to pull the wires out of the way because they kept getting caught when I was trying to lift up the plenum. And that aluminum one is really heavy. I'm going to actually weigh them and see what the difference is. But now I'm going to go ahead and start working on getting it put back in. There's a little tip that I just figured out. The base on the plastic plenum is thicker than the base on the aluminum plenum. Bolts that come with the aluminum plenum have this kind of double washer set up here. You just can't get enough thread in them to grab the new plenum. However, if you take the bolts that hold the upper and lower uh, aluminum plenum apart. They have the same type of top hat bolt with a wider base, which is what you want, but they don't have the double thickness. So these will be short enough to grab the threads. <laughs> change vacuum line from the back of the plenum to the brake booster is going to need to be replaced because it's too short. We used a 3 8 inch vacuum line, but it's still a little too big. Toyota uses a size that the auto parts stores don't carry. I'm gonna see if I can track it down. But I used uh, worm clamps instead of the constant tension clamps and hopefully that'll squeeze it tight enough to keep vacuum for now. With this line, is going to go into the top here. I replaced this line because mine was all eaten up. It wasn't quite long enough. I went and bypassed the throttle body coolant system. So instead of running this line into the throttle body and back out and then into the motor, I just ran it straight from the motor back into the motor. So I plugged off these two lines. This left line will not be used. You're going to plug that off. Uh, this is where I had some trouble figuring out where things go because there's some lines that don't seem to want to go anywhere. Luckily, I have buddies that help me out tremendously. Thank you very much. Line that comes out of the power steering pump here, I have that plugged into the line that goes underneath the plenum and attaches in the front. I need an adapter to put those two lines together. For now, I have it loose. I'm gonna make sure that it works before I shorten those lines. And then the line that comes out, the fuel pressure regulator here on the fuel rail, that vacuum line is gonna go into the back of the air box. I believe besides that, everything else is pretty much obvious where it goes. Make sure that you torque the bolts at the base of the plenum. You start in the middle and work your way out. They're 13 foot-pounds. Oh, don't forget to plug your injectors back in. And I believe that is all. I'm gonna go ahead and try starting it up and see what happens. That's a problem. Had a loose battery connection there, so let's try this again. 